Group A are focusing on. They are an academic scientific congress. Um, this academic congress on research with a small exhibition, maximum 500 abstracts, and five parallel sessions with an expected 700 participants. It takes place in 2017 and runs over four days. The task of this group was to provide a detailed presentation on a comparison between two possible venues or locations where the meeting could be held from which the committee can make a final decision to include costing differentials. Their proposed plan for sustainability, including timelines and cost implications, as well as their sponsorship strategy to include local sponsors, grants, timeline, any cost implications, and a detailed proposal. Last but not least, their unique selling point. And if you're ready, yeah. great. So, hello, good afternoon. I would like to welcome you to the group presentation of Working Group A on the topic Academic Scientific Congress. We would like first to thank our consultant, Michelle, who supported us with all the questions we had. So we are the A-team. We are academic conference specialists, and we aim to deliver greatest level of ex expertise and tireless dedication while giving back to the community. We brought our team, the infrastructure department, the CSR manager, industry liaison, grant procurement specialist, and the engagement manager. We are here to present our proposal for the 2017 European Congress of Library and Information Science, the ICLIS 17, taking place in Ljubljana, Slovenia from June 16 to 19 in 2017. And I would like now to hand over to my colleague Robert to walk you through the agenda of this presentation. Okay, thank you, Sabine. Uh, thank you for the committee for allowing us to be here this afternoon. Uh, we're delighted to present our, uh, our brief for the, uh, the Congress. Uh, today's uh, brief presentation, we hope to outline the three uh, important uh, tasks that uh, were set in the, in, in the bid document, uh, that uh, we are dedicated to academic and scientific events. Uh, we're going to demonstrate that uh, we're able to uh, handle all the uh, Congress uh, uh, basic management tools. Uh, we're going to briefly uh, introduce you to our sustainability uh, strategy that combines both the destination and the Congress program. Uh, we're going to introduce our three-tier sponsorship strategy uh, to help raise funds uh, for the Congress. And uh, last but not least, of course, we're going to demonstrate why uh, the A-team should be your partner of choice. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce one of our venue specialists who's going to go through uh, one of the two uh, destination uh, venue locations that we're going to suggest uh, to the committee for the Congress. So thank you, Terry. Thank you very much, Robert. And thank you to all of you for giving us the opportunity to uh, demonstrate our ability to organize ICLIS 2017. Uh, we received a very detailed proposal, uh, clearly stipulating the needs and requirements for the conference. And uh, with that in mind, we carried out a very extensive research just to find a suitable venue that would be able to work for this particular Congress. Uh, we narrowed down to the two venues as they appear on the screen, the University Faculty of Social Sciences, as well as the CD conference center. Um, what we did, uh, we divided ourselves, and I will take you through the university bit, and my colleague Wendy will take you through the CD Congress Center. I know they say that a picture tells a thousand words, but I think it's important that I take you through why we believed that each of these venues would be suitable enough for your conference. Uh, the university, as you know, is uh, an institution of learning. And it therefore offers um, an intellectually stimulating environment whereby the delegates can be able to engage deeper at an academic level. Because we all understand that the environment in which uh, we hold our conferences plays a big role in the outcome. Uh, we also identified another advantage that once you're at the university, you're able to access the university's facilities as well as uh, the scholars. So they may be able to participate and give insight on the trends and what is happening according to probably the research that they have done. And also holding your conference at university is uh, quite cost effective in that you'll be able to make a, a lot of savings, very budget friendly. So you can actually transfer some of those funds 
into probably looking for ways of enhancing your conference, as well as maybe enhancing the delegate experience. And uh, with that, I'll hand you over to my colleague, Wendy. She'll take you through the CD Congress. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Uh, yes, the uh, City Congress venue, then the largest centre in Slovenia, located very much in the heart of Ljubljana, uh, within walking distance of many hotels offering different budgets and the attractive old town of the city itself. So very experienced venue. Uh, in a year, it's hosted over 250 congresses, including the World uh, Summit of Books in 2011. It offers state-of-the-art and constantly updated facilities. So in terms of accommodating the technological requirements of the association, um, it's very much been noted uh, to cater for that. Uh, offering flexible space. So in terms of growth in delegate numbers, growth in exhibition, there's much flexibility offered with this uh, modern venue. Um, they also um, have offered uh, plenary space with um, sessions very, very close by, so offering a compact feel for the delegates in terms of the space used. Um, we also further considered this venue in terms of its sustainability interests aligned with the association. The Congress Centre has adapted energy saving measures uh, and integrated new environmentally friendly materials and technology, but also in contribution to the city's biodiversity, beehives have been installed on the building's roof meaning that 150,000 bees are uh, pollinating city plants and providing honey as a unique uh, Congress venue. So very much providing a buzzing environment for the Congress. Uh, and just to reiterate, uh, prior to the presentation, uh, the committee were handed a, an extensive four-page document which outlines in a very detailed way a, a very structured uh, cost comparison on both the venues, including a very uh, overview of a budget, just to allow you to make a, uh, an informed decision about the, the best uh, possible venue for your Congress. And in, in line with the uh, sustainability aspects of this, it brings us into a nice uh, topic now, which uh, Corrine's going to go over, the sustainability of our location. Thank you, Sabine. Thank you. I will be the sustainable manager for this event. And in 2016, Ljubljana will be the European green capital city. So that will give new policies. So by 2017, they will offer free bikes to the delegates and free transportation, all sustainable. Our team, Team A, work together with supplier, organizers and association, all to reach the long-term climate goals and energy goals. The Congress will host 10 participants from countries that normally can't participate to the conference. So that will be do uh, in a form of abstracts and also um, uh, applications. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And we're, we're actually hoping that the outreach program that we plan to uh, develop for the Congress will provide a nice legacy uh, for the event in 2017. Perhaps something that uh, uh, the committee might want to take uh, further on in, in future congresses. Now, that, that uh, again takes us into the next stage, which is how we combine innovation, technology with a sustainable uh, and CSR strategy. Uh, we've developed in the last few years as a, as a company a system called Abstract, uh, which allows the entire uh, congress program to be digitized and put uh, uh, on, on, an, on, on an abstract program, which is uh, multi-platform. It has e-posters, uh, the Congress program, uh, the faculty where the delegates are able to, uh, prior to the, uh, the Congress itself, access the speaker's faculties and biographs, uh, the program, and of course the e-posters. Why e-posters? This Congress has 500 abstracts, uh, so we are making a suggestion that we move to an electronic poster platform, thereby uh, negating the use for uh, poster boards. And uh, this also follows very nicely in the long-term sustainability strategy. Uh, on site, we plan to have e-poster stations, uh, and also the whole of the program will also be online, negating the, uh, the need for a paper program. So I in effect, we're aiming to be a paperless uh, system. Uh, so, this is all part of our long-term sustainability strategy in how we combine not only the Congress venue, 
but also the, the, the scientific program, thereby allowing the networking before, during, <coughs> and after the event. And uh, I think that takes us to our next uh, segment, which is Anna, who is our industry specialist, and she's going to go through uh, some of our three-tier sponsorship <coughs> strategy, which, uh, in addition to the presentation, you'll find in your agenda a much more detailed overview of that. So thank you, Anna. Thank you, Robert. I'm so delighted to be here to present our sponsorship strategy for the conference. First of all, I'm very proud of the efforts from our local organizing committees, members from the Slovenia Library Association, National University Libraries Ljubljana, University of Library Ljubljana. These organizations, they are not only sponsor the conference, but also help the local PCO to license with the related associations in the whole Europe to be strongly involved in the countries and the conference. Secondly, our members will help us to reach the companies in the industries, which including very leading technology, IT, information companies, and also as well as the worldwide famous companies. All these name list our short list on the handouts, you, which you have already got. Now, don't forget as the information industry, we still have the opportunities to get the sponsorship from the publishing companies, which already contributed to the conference in the history. Last but not the least, we also got the promise from the two foundations for the support under the LOC and the PCO efforts. In addition, we are also will keep going to get in touch with our foundations to get their support. We will use these grants we received for the travel funds to support people with less money to come to the conference to get the most updated knowledge. And I think just to, to reiterate again, there's a much more detailed uh, proposal in the agenda for you to, to look at at your leisure. And I, and I think just a few of these companies here, it just demonstrates our, our core experience in this field. Now, just to wrap up, David is going to present why we think the A-Team should be your partner of choice. Thank you, Robert. We are the A-Team. We are academic conference specialists. We believe that our expertise in venue selection, our innovative and tech-savvy approaches to sustainability, and also our multi-tiered sponsorship approach will all ensure that we will have a wonderful edition of ICLIS in 2017, and we look forward to getting started. In Thank effect, you. We, we dare to be different. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Right, right on the money. Right on the button. <laughs> Brilliant. That was right on the, right on the, the second, so that was fantastically timed. Um, thank you. I would like to know, do any of our clients have a question would, um, you would like to pose? Sarah, please go ahead. Thank you very much for a very interesting uh, presentation. You have shown us two, um, two venues which both have uh, great attraction and potentially perhaps some downsides. And I don't know that we feel here that we can make that decision. So I would like to ask you as the PCO, which